Sure, another short week for us, but um, uh, enough time to recover for uh, an important game on the calendar and, and a fun game um, to play in and to coach and to be a spectator in. Um, there are always great matchups against uh, our city rivals, and it's uh, always competitive. We will always see the best of the Galaxy, um, and we expect the, much of the same on Sunday. So it's, um, it's uh, you know, away has always been tough for us result-wise, but I think there have been some good performances, and we're looking to um, perform well again. And, uh, you know, if we can execute our plan properly, then I think we can come away also uh, with a little luck, as you always need in these games, for, with three points. How does the team look to control kind of all the noise that's on the outside, all the talk? There's obviously been a lot of talk around this game, probably more so than ever. How do you guys uh, go about that? Honestly, I'm, I'm not sure we've gotten wind of a whole lot of talk and noise. Um, so we're, we're focused and we've had a lot of um, work and games over the past weeks where um, this was obviously is always highlighted on everybody's calendar, but uh, we've been so focused on the task at hand in the past couple of weeks that uh, we really haven't thought about this game too much prior to um, our second leg match against Vancouver. But obviously since the final whistle, uh, we have been preparing for this match and talking about our opponent and uh, we feel we're in a good spot. What is it that they, all on the pitch, that they do in these types of games uh, that you've kind of prepared your team for to say, guys, look look for this, let's avoid this trap this time or something like that? Well, I'm not sure it's it's something tactical. Um, in, in these games in the past, it's nothing really tactically that has, that has um, decided these matches. It's always the individuals on the field. It's the intensity of the game. Um, it's second balls. It's sometimes a few calls that go your way, don't go your way. Um, so it's a, it's a very, very tight margin um, in these matches and very, um, not very often is it the tactic. So, and I expect more of the same. I think it's more about intensity and individual performances than anything else. Is winning second ball is it just an intensity thing or is there something you can shape your formation wise or personnel wise? Sure, yeah, you can do that too. Steve, you guys are off to a good start here in CCL and MLS. Galaxy, obviously, a little bit of a rough start. In this particular time around playing the Galaxy, what's the biggest challenge you think? Well, for them, it's a, it's a huge opportunity to turn their season, uh, turn a corner, and uh, make the results that have been disappointing um, so far, um, from their perspective, um, a positive one. And so a lot is riding on the game for them. Um, but it is for us, too. It's a huge opportunity for us as well. So. Uh, it's a great setup. Should be a great match, and looking forward to it. Chicharito returned from injury last week. He'll be ready for this one as well. What do you think he brings to his side in a big match like this? What he's brought in the past. He's an incredible finisher. His runs um, off the ball and in the box, and his one-touch finishing is second to none. Um, so it's he's he's an excellent finisher, and, and what he brings is he only needs one small chance, and that's it. And um, he knows what to do. Questions on Zoom, please raise your hand. All right, Josh, gross, anything? Uh, Justin Rubin, go ahead, Justin. Hi, Coach. Um, obviously, with all of the stuff going on with Galaxy right now, and you say it, you know it's a big game for them, they could turn their season around with this type of game. Uh, do you think that this Derby week, first of all, varies a little bit from other Derby weeks? And then how would you think a, a Derby week maybe in general varies from a, a normal week in preparation for any other game? Yeah, in general, um, I'll speak to the second question or second half of your question first. In general, I think you're a little more focused and um, throughout the week. Um, and the intensity and in training picks up a little bit. And it's important then to keep track of loading and, and the intensity of training. So... You're not fatigued going into the match because um, data tells us that these matches are definitely more intense than normal weeks. So uh, we prepare for that, and I think players maybe listen to a tiny bit more what I have to say about the opponent this week than in other weeks. Um, at least I hope so. Um, and um, you know, for this particular week, uh, I'm not sure it, it's different than any other derby against them, um, even though um, points for each club going into this match are different and at what stage of the season we're in, it's, it's still a, a really difficult match. And, uh, but we like to see it in a positive manner. So I see it as an opportunity.